Welcome back to our video series on IntelliTeam Designer. Up to this point, we've drawn our circuit and configured all the necessary settings. In this video, we will push the new settings to the devices in the field. This will require three steps. First, we will check communications to the devices. Then we will push the new settings. And finally, we will verify the new settings. The tool used to perform these steps is called the Communications Manager. Click the Communicate to Devices button to open it. Before we can check communications to the devices, there are several communication parameters that must be configured. The Entry Point Device Configuration window lists all the feeders in our circuit, also referred to as feeder nets. Each feeder net has an entry point device associated with it and is typically the first device on the feeder next to the source. In our case, it's switch 1, switch 3, and switch 5. During a push, the settings are first sent to these entry point devices who then propagate them to the other devices on the feeder. This helps make the push process fast and seamless for you. First. Let's make sure that all the entry point device checkboxes are selected, which they are. It's also possible to unselect one or more and perform what we call a partial push, which only sends the settings to a portion of the circuit. This may be preferred if only part of the system needs updating or if communications can't be established to all devices at one time. Next. We need to set the username and password for each device so that designer can establish a connection and access the local settings. Click the Device Configuration tab to access the settings for all the devices in the circuit. You can set the username and password for each device individually, or if they are common for all devices, which is the case for our deployment, we can save some time by setting them all at once. Click the Set button, select the checkbox next to the username and password, and then enter the device login information. Click Set Selected Parameters when you're done. The Check button checks communications between the IntelliTeam Designer software and all the devices. Click it. The operational log immediately opens and starts recording the process. If successful, the communication check summary report indicates successful communications with zero errors or warnings. If unsuccessful, errors will appear on the screen. In this situation, please verify the communication settings and try again. The second step in the process is to push the settings. The push button is used to initiate it. Let's go ahead and click it. Click Yes to continue. The FeederNet Status tab immediately opens and displays the status of the push in real time. Also, notice that the button changes from push to halt. Clicking this button again aborts the process, which is not recommended unless there is an issue. The progress bar to the right of the buttons indicates the progress of the entire update whereas the progress bars, LEDs, and text on the left side of the window indicates progress of each individual feeder. Also, the log to the right provides more information. It takes on average several minutes to complete the update, but it really depends on the speed of the communications and the size of the circuit. Once complete, a window appears advising you to wait a few minutes before running a validation test. Click OK to close the window. If the push was unsuccessful, go back to the operational log for more detailed information about the issue. The log is automatically saved in the file directory listed here, but you can also click Copy Contents to Clipboard and manually export the logs to Word or Excel. The last step in the process is to verify the new settings. Make sure you wait a few minutes after the push 
to allow the system to propagate the settings to all devices and then click the monitor button to begin the process. Next, return to the device configuration tab. If the new settings are received, then the status field will change from black to green and from unknown to accept. If issues were detected, then the status will change to red and indicate a timeout condition. You can also verify that all the devices received and accepted the new settings by comparing the actual feeder net info and expected feeder net info fields. Both should now match. Otherwise, you may need to re-push the circuit to those feeders that still have a mismatch. This window can also be updated at any time by clicking the monitor button again. We're now ready to close out of the communication manager. It's important to note that the X button only minimizes the window. It does not close the window or terminate the connection to the devices. To correctly close out of the window, click the drop down triangle in the top right and select close. Congratulations. All the settings we've created in previous videos are now loaded in the controls and the Intel Team SG automatic restoration application is ready to be used. These videos should only serve as an introduction to using the IntelliTeam Designer software. Please refer to the Designer User's Guide for more information about configuring an actual system.